Hello, welcome to Buying on a Budget. Today I'm not gonna review camera because this Olympus CM5 Mark II is rather old and I figured it would not be the best thing to review but I'm gonna just to discuss Michael Forthard as a system as a whole because people are saying Michael Forthard are dying that the mirrorless full frame are very light and the Michael Forthard is has have no point to use this system but today I'm gonna give you five reasons why Michael Forthard might still be your top of the choice to choose uh, first of all is the lens selection you can see I'm pairing this Olympus body with a Panasonic lens which is very good because consider if Nikon, Canon and Sony, they can mix their lens system together. They, they will be so much better, but only Olympus and Panasonic are sharing the same mount, which is very good and I am seeing a very bright future. And right now I, we are in the Lawson Park in Macau, close to the border gate, but not exactly around there. Macau is very small, but border gate have a lot of people, but in here is not many people here because it's the residential Pace and Macau is mainly a tourist some places city and I'll, I'll try to shoot some picture around and tell you the four other reasons later the second thing is megapixel count oh you say oh Michael Foster only has a very small megapixel which means it actually has a smaller file size you don't want all your 40 megapixel file to stack and you want to buy a lot of devices to stock your photos Michael Foster is, is perfect for you if you are into CS and you don't need such large pin usually the uh, social media you only need no more than 8 megapixel 8 is already in love and it gives you 16 or 20 which is more than in love if you want more megapixel then you can use high res mode which Michael Foster usually has and you if you are not professional you are just an enthusiast Michael Foster is perfectly enough for you already right now we come to this ET guy so a lot of people buy stuff here and which brings us to one point is the weight of the whole system of Michael Foster because it, it is very light you have to consider the whole setup not just the body but also the lens as well the whole system which I'm combining is less than 600 grams which is very comfortable for me to uh, go around and do some street photography and this is looking pretty stylish as well I can comfortably uh, use it for a long session uh, of shooting street or anything like that we have come to top sec here and I want to tell you the fourth thing why I think Michael Forster might be your better choice the depth of view is deeper which means your picture is usually less bulkalicious but sometimes it can be your advantage to use it as your advantage because sometimes you want more things in focus sometimes you want everything to be in focus so that the context can be known and not just blindly creating some bulkalicious picture and think you're good because street photography especially sometimes and sometimes landscape you want most of the things in focus as well so deeper depth of view in Michael Forte's system might be a better choice if you consider deeply so the fifth one eye base in body stabilization oh some band doesn't have this feature at all like Canon Nikon they don't have in body stabilization so you have to rely on lens stabilization uh, I know some brands Sony Fuji right now they have stabilization as well but the nature of the sensor making Michael Forte more effective the eye base why? Because the sensor of Michael Forster is smaller, which means there are more room for the sensor to move around in order to produce a better in-body stabilization, which means you can use your prime lens and with usually fast prime and then still have the uh, benefit of in-body stabilization. Also, sometimes you can do some handheld tripod free shot and still looks very awesome. So to sum up, Five things you might consider Michael Forte is actually superior than other format like full frame and APS-C. So the weight of it, the lens selection, because you can choose lens from not only Olympus and also Panasonic. The third one being file size as well. If you are not professional, you can you always use less than eight megapixel, which is more than enough. If you want more, you have high res mode. And the fourth one is 
deeper depth of deal. It's really good when you sometimes you really want more things in focus, but still using a faster aperture, which actually smaller sensor can help you with that. And the fifth one is in body stabilization. Olympus stabilization is still the one of the best in the market. Panasonic is good as well. Sony because they are full frame, so they have in-body stabilization, but it will not be as effective as Olympus and uh, Panasonic because they are using Micro Four Thirds. And in video, the Olympus just can use some gimbal free shot and um, still looks like a using a steady cam, something like that. So five things you might consider why you want a Micro Four Thirds system instead of full frame. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, if you like this video, you might consist, consider subscribing, liking and commenting. I know some people think full frame is still the way to go. I would like to hear your opinion. I think some points are valid. APS-C is APS-C in the middle and just cripple full frame. I don't know. And I really want to thank you your positive comment in previous video, which really, really pushed me to continue shooting and shooting and doing reviews like this. Subscribe, come on, like, goodbye.